Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to gym class. Mr. Crum here. Um, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. I'm able to teach you guys. I count it a blessing myself. I count it a privilege that I am able to sit down and teach the best kids in the world. Yep, that's right. You guys are the best students a teacher can ever have. All right, the best kids in the world. I'm so happy. I'm excited. Um, remember, at the top of all of our videos, at the beginning of our videos, and indeed and in fact at the end of our videos, we are going to be talking about, I'm going to be reminding you guys of my challenge. All right, the challenge is to ask your mom, your dad, your grandma, any adult that you live with and or any teacher that you are taught by, ask them, how can I help you today? What can I do to be of some service? Mom, do you need some help washing dishes? Dad, do you need some help cooking something? Grandma, can I help you taking the trash out? Um, teacher, can I help you with attendance? How can I help you out? How can I help? We need to always be asking, or just ask one time, how can you help? Okay? After you ask how you can help, then I want you to perform or do whatever they're asking you to do. I want you to do whatever it is they are asking you to do. Okay? So ask, how can I help? Number one, do whatever they're asking you to do. And then this is my favorite part. Tell me, report back to Mr. Crumb. Tell Mr. Crumb what they said. I want to hear. You can tell me, on dojo okay you can tell me when I'll pop into some of your classes I need you to tell mr. crumb what you did how you helped your parents and how they reacted to it all right so let's have fun with this guys let's have a great time let's have a grandiose time with helping people out all right I love 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 helping people out. Let's help somebody out. Let's help out our parent. Let's help out our other teacher. Let's help somebody out. All right? So, that's the challenge. That's the challenge. I see so many challenges going around the internet. I see the challenge of doing this. I see the challenge of doing that. Okay, they have some crazy stuff out there. So what I want to give you is the challenge that's going to help you and that's going to help the adults that are in your life, all right? How can I help? As a matter of fact, that's what we're gonna call it. The how can I help challenge. I like that, how can I help challenge, all right? So, that's that, that's that. Um, what I wanna talk about today, before I get into what we're talking about today, I wanna just recap. We talked about the right amount of water to drink, okay? We've talked about the proper meals to eat how to eat what, how much to eat, how little to eat. Um, we've talked about how to make proper decisions and not proper decisions. We talked about how to make healthy decisions and how to make unhealthy decisions, okay? We talked about if we had a chance to take a, a escalator or the stairs, we would want to take the stairs. All right. We talked about how if we had a, a, a chance, a choice to pick between staying in the house and playing on our video game or going outside and playing, we're going to pick going outside. We're going to get active. We need to stay active. We need to keep that heart rate going. We need to get that heart rate beating a little faster for about 30 minutes per day. OK, so we need to get that going a little faster, about 30 minutes per day, all right? For about two to three days out of the week. 
is the recommended time. That's what we need to do. All right. So that we talked about all of that stuff. We, we talked, we've covered a lot in these five to six weeks that we have been in class. We talked a whole lot. All right. So for today, what I, I want to just take a little bit of time to talk about how to conduct ourselves when we are interacting or not interacting when we come across a stranger. How to conduct ourselves, how to behave when we come across a stranger. We need to understand that. We need to get this in our mind. We need to get this in our brain. How to conduct ourselves when we come across a stranger. Let me read this really quickly. Most strangers aren't dangerous and wouldn't hurt you. Most strangers aren't dangerous and they wouldn't hurt you. But it's possible to tell just by looking at someone if they are safe. Okay? A mean person. I'm sorry. Let me reread that, guys. Most strangers aren't dangerous and wouldn't hurt you. But it's impossible to tell just by looking at someone if they are safe. A mean person might look nice. That's why this week we are going to have you practice knowing if situations are safe and learn some easy tips just to be sure you're okay. All right? So watch this. This is what we need to understand. All strangers are not bad. All strangers are not, but most strangers, okay? I'll just say it like this. All strangers are not bad, all right? But you don't know whether they are bad or good because you cannot just tell if someone is nice or mean just by looking at them. You cannot do that. So what we need to do is we need to be cautious with everyone. We need to be cautious with everyone. Um, when there's a stranger walking down the street and I'm playing in my yard or I'm with my parents or I'm doing whatever, I can say hello, okay? Or or I can say, hey, I, I can give them a greeting and then have them keep walking on, okay? I shouldn't be accepting anything from anybody. I shouldn't be holding long conversations from anybody. The rule of thumb here is to always check with your parents. Always check with your parents. Don't interact with any stranger without consulting, without talking to an adult. Whether it's a teacher, don't talk to any strangers before you talk to a teacher before you talk to your parents, th these are the things that we should be doing. Hey is about it. Okay? That's about it. Other than that, we should be going to talk and say, hey, this guy's wanting to say this, or this guy, this woman is wanting to say that. Is it okay if I talk to them? Is it okay if I accept this from them? We need to be very, very careful about who we are interacting with. If I don't, they used to have a thing back in the day when Mr. Crumb was younger. They used to say, stranger danger. All right? Stranger danger. So, if I don't know you, you're dangerous to me. I can say, hey, but it's not going past that point. If it goes past that point, I'm going to get my parent. I'm going to get my teacher. Boys and girls, we are living in, and I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm not saying this to scare you. Just like the, the, the thing said. But we are living in some crazy times nowadays. And so we just have to be watchful. We just have to be very careful about who we are interacting with. Does that make sense? We just have to be very careful. All right? So, without any further ado, here... We go. Let's get to these workouts. Let's get to it. All right. We're going to go 
two feet down to the ground, or two hands, I'm sorry, down to the ground. Oh yeah, that feels good. About 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. Good job, guys. Good job. I got some new workouts for you today. We're gonna to be doing some new things today. It's gonna to be great. It's gonna be wonderful, okay? You guys are doing great like always. Mr. Crumb loves, loves, loves teaching you guys. All right? Let's do one foot over the other, bend on down. Thirty seconds, guys. You really want to make sure you are getting a tight stretch. Remember what Mr. Crumb said. About ten more seconds, guys. Remember what Mr. Crumb said. If I have a rubber band and it's cold, and I try to stretch it, it's gonna pop. All right. Three, two, one. Perfect. But if I have a rubber band that's warm, when I stretch it, when I go to work out, when I go to do this. It's not going to pop. All right? And that's what we need to understand. That's what we need to know. It's the same thing with our muscles. It's the same thing with our muscles. We need to stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Left over right. Bring it on down. All right? Three, two, one. Perfect. Yeah, guys. You guys are doing a great job. Today's going to be a good day of working out. Great day of working out. About 15 more seconds. Oh, yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, guys. Oh, yeah. The front feels good. Feels really good. Make sure you have your water. Make sure you have your energy. Okay? Give me a good, I need a good attitude and I need water. Those are the only two things you need from Mr. Crumb's class. Good attitude and water. There's three things that goes along with your good attitude. Energy, effort, enthusiasm. That's all I need. All right? Let's go down to the right. Let's do it. That's all we need, guys. Energy, effort, and enthusiasm. If we're doing those three things, we're going to be good. We're going to be more than good. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, good job, good job. Got about 20 seconds. Mr. Crumb's going to grab some water right now. Yep. Going down to the left side. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, good job, guys. Keep stretching that. Gotta make sure you're stretching. Have to make sure. Oh yeah, I feel that. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. Oh yeah. Listen guys. Boys and girls, Mr. Crumb didn't even have his coffee yet, and I'm just hype. I'm this hype, and I don't even drink coffee yet. Oh, you wait till I get some caffeine in me. <laughs> you wait. You just wait. All right. We're going to go with our back alarm clocks. Three, two, one. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, yeah, 
that's really waking that thing up. Fifteen seconds, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Good job. Good job. All new. All new exercises. All new workouts. All new for you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now we're gonna do small circles going backwards. Three, two, one. Only doing these for 15 seconds and then we're gonna switch to big circles going backwards. We got about five more seconds guys. Five more seconds for the small circles. Three, two, one. Big circles. Yeah. Five more seconds. Time. Good job, good job, good job. Yep. Yep. Guys are doing great. Now we're gonna switch it. We're gonna do small circles to the front. Small circles to the front in 10 more seconds. It's very important that we rest, that we take time to rest, all right? 10 seconds going front. Ready? Go. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, let's go big circles. I forgot. Big circles, big circles. Come on. Three, two, one. Time. Yep. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Mr. Crow, I'm telling you, I'm feeling so good. I just feel too good. All right, let's have one arm out. Swing it around, lock it in. Pull it, go. Yeah. Good job, guys. Ten more seconds, guys. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah. Whoo! Feels good. Twenty more seconds. Then we're gonna do the other arm. 20 more seconds and we're going to do the other one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, let's go. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. It's important that we stretch. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, time. Good job. Good job. Use this time to get you some water. Do what you got to do. We're going to start our exercises. All right, side shuffle squats, ready? Go, one, two, squat, one, two, 
squat, yeah, one, two, squat, one, two, squat, one, two, side shuffle, squat, side shuffle, squat, 10 more seconds, squat, side shuffle, squat, five, four, three, two, and one, yep, yep. Yeah. See what else we have. Three. We're going that's all we're doing. Side, up, side, up. Come on, go. Uh, side, side, drive it up, drive it up, drive it up, drive, drive, one, two, three, drive, one, two, three, drive, one, two, three, drive, good job, 10 seconds, push, drive, drive, time, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so now we're doing burpees with a lunge. Burpees with a lunge. All right. So we're going down, go out, come back up. One, two. Ready? Go. Down, up. One, two. Let's go. 20 seconds. Down, up. One, two. Good job, guys. Down, up. One, two. 10 more seconds. Down, up. One, two. Good job. Time, time. Woo, I like that last one. Mr. Crumb needs some water now. All right. Now we're going to do side hops. All right. That looks like this. One hop. Almost like you're ice skating. Ready? Go. Good job, guys. Keep that up. Stick it and go. Go. Good job. 15 seconds. Good job, guys. Five, four, three, two. Good job. Good job, good job. You guys are working so hard. This day is not an easy day. This was a little tough. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Last workout. Explosive jack. So we're going to start down. <coughs> yep. Go. Come on. 20 more seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five more seconds. Good job. Good job, guys. That was a good one. That was a great one. Let's breathe. Let's do our breaths. Ready? Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out. 
Breathe in through your nose. Hold it. Out through your mouth. Let's do it again. In through your nose. Hold it. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Hold it. Out through your mouth. And through your nose. Out through your mouth. And through your nose. Out through your mouth. And through your nose. Hold. Wow. Great job, everybody. Great job. You guys killed it today. You guys were awesome. You guys did a wonderful, incredible, splendiferous job. I only hope that you guys keep that up. Remember, remember the challenge. Remember our challenge, all right? The how can I help you challenge. Remember our how can I help you challenge. Go to your parent, parents, go to your teacher, whoever's in charge, whoever, and ask them, how may I help you? Is there any way that I can help you today? All right? Going to knock their socks off. Okay? After you help them, then I want you to tell Mr. Crumb. I don't care if you do it with Dojo. You can do it when I come into your class. But... Let Mr. Crumb know how you've helped your, your parents, how you've helped your teacher. All right, it could be something so small or it can be something so big. But the whole objective is, is to help your parents. How can I help you? Listen, I love you. You guys have been phenomenal. You guys have been great. Please, if you don't do anything else for Mr. Crumb, Keep it up. Keep it up. You guys have been great. I'll see you tomorrow.